keep you updated on the capital and financial markets. Here is a recap of what happened. China to scrap foreign insurers' ownership caps in insurance asset management firms. China will eliminate the caps on foreign insurers' ownership of insurance asset management firms, according to a new regulation announced on 5 August, as the country opens its financial markets further to foreign investors. The latest sign of deregulation was unveiled as part of rules on insurance asset management firms that are to take effect on 1 September. Implications of soaring inflation on unit trust fund industry. Consumers purchasing power is being hurt by high inflation, which could lead to lower investable income. As unit trust funds form the largest component of the Malaysian collective investment scheme industry, the edge takes a look at the potential effect on investments and returns of unit trust funds. The Federation of Investment Managers Malaysia sees an impact on household income as well as savings and investment ability amid the rising inflation environment. In June, the Consumer Price Index expanded 3.4% year-on-year, mainly because of the 6.1% rise in food prices. As with any inflation, the rise of cost of living expenses will naturally erode investors' investable income in general, FIMM tells The Edge in an emailed reply. Indonesia sovereign bonds drive pension industry's asset gain in first half. Indonesia's pension fund industry assets rose 1.5% through the first six months of 2022 as the country's sovereign bond yields attracted investors in a global market grappling with central bank rate hikes to tame inflation and the war in Ukraine. The industry closed the first half with 332.31 trillion rupiah of total assets, up from 327.39 trillion rupiah at the end of 2021, according to new figures published on the website of the Financial Services Authority of Indonesia. The regulator typically posts the data without providing analysis. USSEC proposes to enhance private fund reporting. The US Securities and Exchange Commission on the 11th of August voted to propose amendments to Form PF, the confidential reporting form for certain SEC-registered investment advisors to private funds. The amendments, which the Commodity Futures Trading Commission is concurrently considering to propose jointly with the SEC, are designed to enhance the Financial Stability Oversight Council's ability to assess systemic risk, as well as to bolster the SEC's regulatory oversight of private fund advisors and its investor protection efforts in light of the growth of the private fund industry. Singapore Fund Scheme lures investors as scrutiny of offshore tax havens grows. Singapore is welcoming more than a dozen investment funds every month under a new scheme designed to lure money from rival low-tax jurisdictions. The city-state in 2020 established a corporate structure, called a variable capital company, that offers local investment managers significant financial incentives and freedom from public disclosures. We are pleased to announce that FIMM has refreshed its website along with a new contact number to serve you better. FIMM is looking for people who are exploring career opportunities. For those who are interested, send in your resume at career at FIMM.com.my. This has been the FIMM TV Weekly Recap. Be informed, stay updated. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.